driver escaped a death narrowly Wednesday morning after the Oria Bridge in Migori County caved in, plunging the overloaded truck into River Kuja. More of these and other stories in our county wrap with Nisi Imano. <laughs> the lorry, which was carrying sugarcane to Sukari Industries in Liwa, Homa Bay County, plunged into the swollen River Kuja after the Oria Bridge collapsed. Migori Governor Okoto Bado said that the bridge which connects Migori County and Homa Bay County was built by the British settlers and had long outlived its time. The affected residents of Oria, Ongito and Diwa have now been forced to use a boat to cross the crocodile and hippo infested river. Because now we are only left with one bridge down there. <laughs> if it collapses like this one here, then our communication with the people on the other side of the river will be completely cut off. So we are not going to allow any heavy or uh, cane vehicle or any heavy vehicle carrying whatever it is. As the world celebrates World Nurses Day, Busia County is experiencing shortage of nurses. According to County Chief Officer Dr. Isaac O'Meri, 10 nurses have contracted COVID-19 and one of them has lost her life while in the line of duty. nurses, over 10 nurses, waliweza kuwabukizwa na ugoji wa COVID, lakini they are over that number. Nairobi Metropolitan Services will upgrade Korogosho Health Facility to Level 5 Hospital by July this year to supplement the huge traffic of patients visiting Mama Lucy Hospital. Speaking at Mama Lucy Hospital during the launch of the first blood collection center in Nairobi, NMS Director Major General Mohamed Badi at the same time said beginning of July, Kenyatta National Hospital will strictly offer referral services. We are working very hard to ensure that no hospital will remain unopen when it comes uh, to the end of uh, uh, June because the deadline that we anticipate between Ministry of Health and ourselves is closure of N Kenyatta National Hope Hospital to walk in patients by first week of July. Elsewhere in Nakuru, traders at the Njoro market are up in arms with the local county government for what they term as deplorable and sorry state of the facility. The, the traders say that their place of work has increasingly turned into a health hazard due to lack of toilets, clean water and garbage disposal bins. Yakwaza. Tulichibua choo hapa kidogo. Ha, na hiyo choo hai hai sasa ukienda saa hii huwezi taka kuingia. Na kila siku tunalipa mwanzo. Kila kila Jumatano na Jumamosi tumekuwa tukilipa isipokuwa wakati huu ambao kuna corona. In Moranga, two factions belonging to Governor Mwangi Wairia and Kiharu MP Ndindi Nyoro engaged in cat and mouse games as Nyoro's group tried to stop protests aimed at discrediting the MP over his opposition to BBI bill. Finally, Nyamira, a survey conducted by Performance Monitoring for Action PMA project, revealed a decrease in family planning commodities uptake. Their development, according to the survey, is attributed to failure by women to visit health facilities for fear of contacting coronavirus. And also there's another challenge whereby we realized that there was in other facilities we had stockouts of commodities. The stock of, uh, out of commodities made the mothers you know, together their family planning method of choice. In other words, we need also to work on that so that we can get enough commodities so that our people can get uh, the family planning method that they, uh, they want. They For Channel 1 News, I'm...